Video 3, Inputs and Switching. A major area of the vMix interface is all of these tiles, which represent vMix inputs. There are several kinds of inputs, probably the most basic are the camera inputs. These first six inputs are the inputs from each of our six cameras. We'll start with these camera tiles. The main part of the tile is a thumbnail image of what the camera is sending. Aiming and zooming the cameras is a separate operation, we'll discuss that later. In the upper left is a number, which is a sequential number assigned to each of the inputs. Next to that is the name. The tiles can be reordered by left-clicking in that upper bar and dragging the tile to a different position. The tiles can also be minimized to a vertical bar by right-clicking in that upper bar. In the very bottom row, there are four buttons labeled 1 through 4. These relate to overlays, which we will also discuss later. Next, we have a button marked Audio. If the input has an audio portion, that can be turned on and off with this button. The audio should be turned off on all of our cameras, so this button should be grayed out. Next, there is a full screen icon, which lets the operator preview that input in a larger window. Click anywhere in that larger window to close it. Next, the gear icon opens various settings for the inputs. We won't be talking about setting up inputs or changing their settings. In the second bottom row, the first button will close the input. You don't want to do this, and there should be a confirmation step to help avoid closing one accidentally. Next there are buttons called Quick Play and Cut, which we will discuss along with transitions. The Loop button would not apply to camera inputs. It would be used to make a recorded input loop. Finally, there is a pause button. The basic process of switching is to left click anywhere in the main portion of the tile, which puts that input into the preview area. Notice that the top bar of the input shows orange, showing which input is being previewed. When the switcher operator is satisfied with the preview, any one of the transitions swaps the preview and output windows. Notice that the top bar of the input tile changes color, indicating what inputs are being output or previewed. Remember these two transition buttons in the input tile? When we use the cut button, that input is switched immediately to the output. When the quick play button is used, the transition is a fade. This is how vMix is used as a video switcher. Let's look at some other kinds of inputs. One is an input from the presentation Mac, which behaves just like a camera input and shows whatever is being displayed on the front screens. We can also use a video file as an input, switch it in, and play it with common video player controls. We have this one set up and use it as a test source. Notice that when it starts to play, the audio button turns green, and we see a level on the output audio meter. Another kind of input is titles. We can preview and switch those in the same way, but that's not usually what we want. Titles want to be put on top of another image, which brings us to overlays. If we left click on the number 1 in the title input tile, it is overlaid on the output window. Once we've done that, overlay 1 is associated with that input, and we can use the number 1 button in the transition bar to turn it on and off. If we right-click on the number 1 in the title input tile, it is overlaid onto the preview window. When we transition, the overlay comes along with the preview. Overlay 1 is a full-screen overlay and is used for titles or other inputs with some transparent areas. Overlays 2, 3, and 4 are picture-in-picture -picture and put a reduced image in the upper right, lower left, or lower right areas. These would be used, for example, to show the piano player, along with the rest of the worship team. Picture-in-picture -picture arrangements can also be created in the inputs. For example, when a speaker is first referring to a slide, the slide should be large, but don't neglect the speaker entirely. After the full slide has been up long enough, we should emphasize the speaker, but not neglect the slide entirely. This brings us to that other transition, Merge. When we are merging between two related inputs, the images grow and shrink. When they are unrelated inputs, merge behaves just like fade.